Nera, you know. Whereas actually, I think Kenny's like actually proven himself as a consistent performer. Oh, oh my God. Oh, the crowd making a bit of noise. It seems like we're finally getting into it. So let's see if Kenny can bring that level that we're just talking about. Well, he's going to have to relax on the couch for a little bit as Shoxi finally puts an end to it. It's double up and one auto sniper for LDLC. They want to put an end to the madness. So welcome back to the show here. It's DreamHacks.com live in the Ericsson Globe. This is going to be LDLC getting off to a fantastic start. Double up and discard 20. What we saw them go for again, but Smith will find Kaylee. And that was Kaylee lurking around in A apartment. So now LDLC, they're starting to pick Titan members off on opposite sides of the map. But then Smith through the wall. <laughs> Shot onto existence. And that actually drops the bomb as well, which makes it a little bit hard for Titan to get anything done. At this point, look for some frags. See if you can pick up some, uh, some members of LDLC so that they don't come away with a flawless round. They've already done plenty of damage to Smiths and Kiyoshima, so maybe there is an opening to find somebody. And Kiyoshima will be going down. Goes a little bit too aggressive in the middle, and Apex is there to pick him off. So they get the information for the team right now. They still have that two-man lead. So this situation is still go for LDLC. They've got control of window, and they're going to be blocking off a site as well. With only 30 seconds left here for Titan to act, it does seem like A is going to be the name of the game. Unless they do manage to sneak their way over. I mean, shot there from MBK is going to take out Apex, and that's going to leave Happy to pick up Maniac. And there we go, LDLC. They managed to break the streak from Titan. 5-0 lead there for Titan. Actually falls down to a four-round lead. Yeah, this is really big. Like, we were talking about this break that's been here has basically reset the momentum for both teams. So now LDLC get a chance to get a little bit into it, and Titan have to try and avoid that, that thinking that maybe if that, this pause hadn't happened, maybe they could have kept winning. So, I mean, Titan, they still look pretty fired up here. They're going for the rush, but you can see it was already heard. That guy down on catwalk's going to hear it, and now Kiyoshima utterly flashed more grenades raining in, and actually Shoxi's already picked up the first kill, but Kiyoshima's going to go down. That's Maniac jumping and shooting Apex with a kill on Happy, and now they have the bomb side. Yeah, Smith is now rotated over, however, he's in Kitchen. They're going to be trying to pull out everything they can here, LDLC, to close the gap fast enough. Titan have plenty of time, however, to run on this clock and get this plant, but they are kind of backed in. Smoke is going to be used, but there you go. Smith catches Apex peeking. And this is the bomb still being carried here on the man caught in the corner. Maniac, he's stuck behind the bench and he doesn't have a smoke. They don't actually have any more smokes here on Titan. So getting him out of this position is going to be very tricky for them. Yeah, and what's really weird is the one smoke they already used, that's almost disappeared now. So it, it served almost no purpose. If they had maybe used it towards Kitchen, they could have done a little bit more here. Smith waiting on the angle and they're finishing forward. He gets the shot through and actually almost kills Kenny with it. 40 seconds left. They got to get in here and get the bomb down. And finally, they get into position at LDLC. They actually, one guy is rotating over. Shoxi was all the way over at a bomb site, checking if anything was up. Yeah, smart play by him, just making sure that they couldn't, if they did not actually get tabs on where that bomb was, they didn't want it sneaking into the A site and getting a position there. It's got to be Smith taking out Kenny S, however, and now NBK with the auto sniper, just going to town, but Maniac finds the headshot. Shoxi's looking for it, but Existence is in a perfect position. The smoke is going to go down, and it looks like Shoxi's just going for this. He's got this, he totally pulls off the juke. Existence oh. is stuck in the smoke, and he's going to get knifed. Shoxi gets it. But there isn't enough time for the defuse. Oh. The <laughs> bomb will blow, and Titan will pick up that sixth round, despite LDLC's best efforts and having them cornered for the majority of it. Oh, it's almost like he deserves it after that. The smoke, the knife, cloak and dagger type play, but it's not going to be quite enough. And Titan, they bounce right back after this. And you've got to remember as well, LDLC invested into, they had two orbs and an auto sniper. It's a lot of equipment that they've put into this. And as a result, while well, they can still have the AWP, they have the Mag 7 on LDLC, so a clear indication of how much they're suffering from this. Here's where they're going to have that Mag 7. Is he going to be in shadow with it? That could be a solid position, and yes, he is. So if they round that corner, it's going to be Kenny S picking off Shoxi at the mid-window, but Smith is still here and up close. He's going to look for the opportunity, but he's not going to get it. NBK has picked out Kaylee, though. So he managed to return a frag, and there's Happy picking up the AWP. He finds Kenny in the end. Back into a three-on-three. Oh, and Kiyoshima actually takes that one down onto uh, Maniac. You gotta wonder why Titan are so keen on walking into the middle without smoking off that window, since you can so easily do it from the T-spawn. So that frustrates me a little bit just looking at it. And that's a nice, a nice pick off onto uh, Happy there, Apex, finding a good angle. Now it is back to a 2-1-2, two -on -two, and MBK inside the A bomb site here is actually gonna be in a little bit of trouble if they come for him. He's got no grenades, and 
got a good angle here, but Apex is going to take him down. That's now the third kill coming in here for Apex, and the bomb will be planted. They even have that one smoke left, and a couple of flashbangs here, which means Kirishima is going to have one hell of a hard time getting into the bomb site. Exactly. As soon as Titan were able to get in between the two LDLC members, this, this round was pretty much theirs to lose at that point because they were going to be able to overwhelm whoever, whoever was on that site alone. Kiyoshima goes in to get right position, however, finds the headshot on Apex, just madly sprays, but he doesn't look up high enough. Existence on top of the cases and good teamwork there between Apex and Existence to pull off that plant. Not exactly sure how he got that first kill. That was very fast. Um, it's a real shame he didn't check the corner fully. That could have been, that could have probably been a one on two clutch very fast there. This is really insane. Oh, that was nicely done there by Kiyoshima. And then he, he checks, but look at that angle. Existence just hiding in the corner and a free kill there. LDLC are going to be back onto pistols now at this point. Titan are ruining their economy by winning these rounds. And Titan, most important bit here is that they've got seven rounds now on the T side and it's shaping up to be eight. This is a great lead for them to be in. All right, so it might be that Titan didn't go for the window smoke here because they're expecting LDLC to eco, but either way, I'm going to start counting the rounds. They don't smoke that window. This is now the second that I've seen um, them not throwing that window smoke, and that's definitely very, very unorthodox. Every team that plays Mirage throws that window smoke, almost no matter what they do, just as a natural precaution. It does open it up, but then it does seem like Titan are fairly confident in their ability to get the frags. It's going to be Shoxy, last man alive here over on the B site, wrong site to be on. He's going to find that out a bit too late, and Titan are going to be able to get the plant fairly easily here. The shot parting. But you're right, they are, going to be able, they, they are going to pay. The one thing is, once those AWPs come into play again, Kenny isn't going to want them to be smoking off that, uh, that window, because that's a, also a very way, easy way to get a pick early on. So there's, there's decisions here that are being made, and Titan so far are benefiting from them. Yeah, you could do it without that, but, but they've only been putting AKs in there so far. That's what's so mysterious about it. But if you want to walk up the middle, you can basically be attacked from three different angles. There's the, you know, straight in from A, there's the window, and there's catwalk in, and maybe on the pass if you want to count a fourth. But either way, you pretty much got to smoke off at least one, and preferably two of them if you're going to go aggressive up in the middle. Otherwise, you really do expose yourself to a lot of risk. So this time, they're not going middle. Obviously, then smoking mid doesn't mean as much, but you can even still do it just, just to do it, just to, to screw a little bit around with the, with the CT side. What they're doing right now, Titan, is going to be hugely effective because LDLC have not a single member inside the bomb site. They're going to be smoked out without a chance to get back into it. This is the perfect timing to run this strategy. In fact, MBK, he wants to get in there before the smokes rain in, and actually, it might even work here. He's going to pick up the first kill, Smith, with the follow-up here. Titan, they had it so good for themselves, and they are going to get the return frags finally. And they are. We're going to. Do, they still take damage down to half. Kaylee in existence. Both. There's a push coming in from Kaylee. He picks up one, but then Shoxy comes into play with that AWP. And this time around, LDLC are closing in from two different angles on this site. Maniac up in CPL, however, could potentially catch the man off guard. Kiyoshima is working his way back around a short to keep an eye on Connected, but also to keep an eye on the B site, and that is going to open everything up. Shox, he gets picked off of A, and Kiyoshima now has to win this duel versus Maniac, readjusts his aim, and gets the shot in time. Yeah, but is he going to realize there's a guy coming from top of mid? I'm pretty... No, existence. Not quite sure. He probably thought he went back up, and that can actually help Kiyoshima a lot. If he stops making that much noise, he's going back towards the bomb site. And because of the time right now, Kiyoshima definitely has a big advantage. If he waits for existence to plant, this is going to be very much favoring the CT player. Now he's going to be in a great position here to catch him off guard. Oh, he looks away at short. Does Kiyoshima check again? He will find him out in the open, and existence gets taken out. LDLC. Existence didn't ha did not have a lot of time to act there either. He was down to like 10 seconds to get that plant. So it really was a gamble coming in there. If, if, if Kiyoshima is not there, Existence gets that plant for free. But Kiyoshima gets the proper read, sees it coming, and does manage to save that round for LDLC. I'm curious what, uh, if they're going to go back to AWPs or not, Titan. It doesn't look like it. It looks like everybody's still full AK. And this is, an, this is a conscious decision made by Kaylee, or by Kenny, rather. Oh, charging into the bomb site here. Again, Titan with a lot more speed than we're used to seeing. Smith kind of trapped in that corner, and the bomb is going to go down really quickly here again for Titan. They're really good at getting into this A bomb site, and we'll see if they can hold it this time too. Shoxi does get a kill on existence just as the bomb goes down, so they have a 4-on-4 four four situation on their hands. Still a few grenades left on the CT side here, and Smith putting a shot through the smoke. Not going to get it. Maniac will take him down. They gotta move quick, LDLC though. They don't have a kit right now, and Happy's alone, and what a shutdown. Kaylee comes through with great double kill there. All headshots. And the Titan doing an excellent job just defending that bomb site, getting in all the little tricky positions, but also when it came down to taking the duels, they win them all. So you can have the best position, if, but if you're not hitting the shot, 
you will get overwhelmed. Titan, however, that is not the case. They're able to just catch LDLC off guard with how aggressive they're playing. And this has been all day long. Throughout the semifinals, Titan were just all over the place, in your face. And it's the total reversal from the usual style we're expecting to see from Existence. Existence is one who likes to pace himself and slow down the game. Instead, we're seeing Titan just go fast everywhere. And it definitely looks like LDLC are having trouble adjusting. They're still... I think they've had enough time to figure out that what's happening to them here, but they're still having it, finding it difficult to adjust to this turn of speed. A little bit. And they're back on ecoing again, so this seven round lead could be, could be a little bit more in just a few seconds here. Happy also under fire. It's going to be going down to Apex and... That fade away nade. And Kyushima peeks up into B Apartments, catches Maniac, turned away, but Maniac has got the AK. He's going to spot out Kyoshima. Oh, the jump shot. Kyo trying to get fancy there, but he's not going to get it. And it will be a 10th round picked up now for Titan. Three rounds left in this half. And it certainly isn't looking good here for LDLC. They need to get some money on the board. So maybe mid-aggression could be one answer for LDLC to look for here. Instead of just putting, you know, one guy controlling the mid, like they've had Smiths a couple of times trying to, trying to peek in there, maybe try and put two or three people up, see if anyone's up top of mid, kill them, and if you don't find anyone, you rotate quickly back to A. Because if you don't find one top of mid, it's going to be either an A or B plane. You want those mid people to be at A at that point, because B is already covered by the rest. So they're going actually for the aggression of somewhere else, but it's the same basic idea here. Some more information for LDLC to know what on earth Titan is, up to, Titan is up to? Oh, and NBK, he's so cheeky. Is he going to push all the way in through mid? It looks like it. Unless he decides to wrap back around through apartments and fully clear out this side of the map. But it does look like he's going to go for the wrap around through mid. This could be a big play from him. I'm sure he wishes he had a rifle in this position, though. That's why X7 not going to be the most useful gun. Timing is everything here, coming up from behind. Any second now, he's actually get close enough to him that he can easily do this. There's the one, goes for the second, misses, and Existence will drop him for it. Maniac takes down Smith, who comes leaping out the window, and a second kill comes in, and it's going to crumble for LDLC. In spite of that great initial position, gifted to them almost by the Titan members, it's now a one-on-two, and Kiyoshima has to try and clutch it again. Oh, and he does a good damage, a good bit of damage there to Kaylee. That's going to wake Kaylee up a little bit. Decide to see if he can swip up. He does swap out for the AK. He needs to reload. I mean, Bullets doesn't, not sure exactly where the second member is here for Titan. And this is the problem. This is going to cost him a lot of time. He has to clear out some of this bomb site. There's so many angles to be checking as well. At this bomb site, yeah. Way too many angles. And existence with a very uh, nice headshot as he comes up the stairwell then. So there it is, Titan just doing way too well at the moment. That pause, I don't know. Even if it did give LDLC a round or two, it hasn't made that big of a difference right now. This is the least favorite side or the less favorite side of Mirage, the terrorist side that is, and Titan are doing very well on it at the moment. They've got all of the momentum going into this LDLC once again, and this is, it's just like watching Titan versus Fnatic all over again. Titan, they're winning the buy rounds, and then they're getting free rounds on top of that when they run into these eco rounds. LDLC are never able to get the money to get any kind of economy to work with. I mean, Smith, when was the last time he had an op, right? They just Ooh. don't ever have the money MBK for it. MBK around the corner. There's the one jump. He could have had a little bit more, but he's not going to pick it up. And I don't know. It's the, now they do need to go for the crazy place because they're simply out of time. But I still feel like we've seen very few rounds here from LDLC that have been just standard rounds. A lot of them have been, I don't know, odd variations. Kyushima. He's got the Deagle, and we've seen him pick up frags with it in the past. Nades are going to go in there, though, and that's going to force LDL's his hands. It seems like they want to get up close. They got that scout. They could go for jumping shots to clear out that site. Molly on top, though. Shoxy getting toasted. He's got to back out. Down to 43 HP, and Kaylee in existence will pick him up. This is going to be Titan now. Last round of the half coming up in LDLC. They should be able to buy in this situation after that eco. Oh, but it's hard right now for LDLC to get too excited, you have to imagine. Even if they make this 12 to 3, that, that doesn't taste much different right now if you're on the terrace, on the CT side here. They do have the AWP, and again, there's no smoke in window. But Kenny does go for the challenge on the other end, and that's maybe the one time where it makes sense not to smoke off. But even if they don't, they could still do more than they just did. They can still have someone flash him in, they could have someone jump before him. So I think maybe it's just a, a signal of how confident Titan are, but I... I don't know. I'm not sure I'm a, I'm a fan of it anyway. Well, yeah, there, there is that. There is also the fact that they have 12 rounds on their T side right now, so they're pretty much allowed to do anything they want. 
And this is, they're still able to walk in and get entry frags at will. Apex will find one. Shoxi does manage to shut down Maniac in the uh, B apartments, but Titan is still on the loose. Kyoshima steps in, brings it back to a two on three, but Kaylee is here, misses that shot, but he's gonna bank the nade, and that's not gonna do the damage. Kyoshima with the AWP finds the shot. Well, that just far enough, not gonna hit that one, and now he's scoped up and gets the shot through the wall as well. Kenny dies 2 on one here, and they're gonna get the last one as well. So they do make it to three rounds on the LDLC side. Still very, very far from the mark right now. It's still a very long trip for them. And with some good aggression on the T side, we're gonna see, we're gonna have to see if LDLC can just do, can be as aggressive as Titan. They are, can they take the risks and will the risks go their way? They need to get the entry frags going into this and I'm sure that they're not gonna waste too much time. I'm sure they're gonna hit the ground running here and get into the second half. This pistol, it goes without saying, is crucial. This is going to give the guns. And if Titan pick up this pistol, they could just end this game right here and we could be going into our second map right off the bat. Oh, yeah, that is, I would say, that's, that's the more likely scenario. It just feels like whatever it is Titan is trying to do, it it just works out. Even sometimes if they're in slightly unfavorable position, it still seems to work really well. USPS all around, not a single, you know, bought gun apart from that. And it's uh, body armor and then the one kit on Maniac here. So they're ready to fight long range against someone who might potentially otherwise, you know, shoot them in the, in the chest. Shoot them in the chest, shoot them in the face, shoot them everywhere. Titan, however, are converging on this A side. It's going to be Smith taking point here. He's trying to get onto this side as quickly as possible. NBK goes through the smoke and finds Maniac and CPL, but Apex striking back, and Kaylee gets in as well.